Hey guys, so let's go over those questions at the end of the last video on Cartesian planes and coordinate geometry. So here we have a somewhat complicated diagram, but if you can break this down into its respective parts, it's not as bad as it may look. Point E is the midpoint of AD here, and we know AD is also 13. We need to figure out what Y is here at point D. We need to figure out the area of this triangle here, ABE. And we also need to figure out the equation for this line here, line 1. So first up, what is Y? Well, we know that Y is associated with negative 5 at point D. We know point C here is negative 5, 0 and forms a right angle with this x-axis. We also know that over here we have A, which is the origin at 0, 0. Knowing all of that, we have a right triangle. D, C, A is a right triangle. So because of that, we could use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the distances here for the legs, since we already know AD is 13. And then using that information, we can figure out what Y is, since DC is just a straight line. So A to C, we know, without even needing to use the distance formula, is 5 because there's no vertical movement. So horizontally, it just moves 5 over. So we know AC. is 5. We know AD is 13, so because of that we can use the Pythagorean theorem. A squared, 5 squared, 25, plus x squared, say DC is x, is equal to 13 squared, which is 169. x squared is equal to, we need to subtract 25 from both sides, and we get 144, and we get x is equal to 12, taking the square root of both sides. So we know DC is 12. You'll also remember that 5, 12, 13 is a Pythagorean triple. So if you knew that, you could have skipped this step. So here we know that that's 12. If we know that that, that distance is 12, that means that Y here has to be 12, since all we have is vertical movement here and no horizontal movement. So next up, we need to figure out ABE. So the area of ABE would be 1 half base, which is AB, times height, which is BE. We know E is at the midpoint of DA, and we know DA is 13. So if we know that DA is 13, we know that AE has to be 6 and a half. Now knowing that this is 6 and a half, we have a large triangle here, ACD, and a small triangle, ABE, they're similar triangles because they share this value here, this angle here. They both have right angles, which means that this angle here and this angle here have to be equal as well. So we know that the sides are in proportion from the small triangle to the big triangle. So if we know that this and the larger triangle, AC, is 5, and we know that this here is six and a half, which is half of the hypotenuse of the big triangle. We know AB has to be half of AC, so that's two and a half. So knowing that, we also know that since this is 12, this has to be six. So now we have the base and height, so the area would be one half times six times two and a half. So we get three times two and a half, which is 5 over 2, and we get 15 and a half, which is 7 and 1 half. Last up, we need to figure out the equation of line 1. The way to do that is to use y equals mx plus b, the slope-intercept form of an equation. We know that b is 0 because the line intersects the y-axis at 0, so we know it's just going to be y is equal to mx, which means we need the slope. So let's take two points here. So we have negative 5, 12, and 0, 0. So the slope formula is yA minus yB over xA minus xB. So let's say yA is 12, yB is 0, xA would then be negative 5, and xB would be 0. So we have a slope of negative 12 over 5. So the formula for this line would be y is equal to negative 12 over 5 
x. So if you want to double check that, we know that point E here is negative 2 and a half, 6, because of this 2 and a half movement to the negative, and 6 up. We can plug negative 2 and a half here for x and see if we get 6. So let's plug negative 2 and a half into x here. So we get negative 12 over 5 times negative 5 over 2. And we can simplify here. And we get negative 12 over negative 2, which is 6. And that's what we're looking for. So y is equal to negative 12 over 5x. And that's the equation of the line. All right, so that's it for this video. Like always, feel free to leave comments and questions below and give the video a like if you found it helpful.